the success rate with IVF nationally in most clinics is actually going down in the United States. And here's the reason why. Well, ours is going up, but in most places it is going down because everybody's doing this PGS or BGTA testing. Patients love the idea when doctors bring it up and doctors say, you have to do it. We have to genetically test it to make sure your baby is going to be normal. Baloney. If it's a single gene mutation that you or your husband are carrying, well, then it's very accurate to prevent the child from having cystic fibrosis or Tay-Sachs or any of these single gene diseases. But what they're talking about with 23,000 genes is not genetic testing. It's just counting the chromosomes. And it's extremely inaccurate. The tests, uh, the studies are coming back now that control studies show that it lowers the success rate. It doesn't raise the success rate. It lowers it dramatically. The reason being is that human embryos in the early stages have a variety of euploid and aneuploid cells. It's mosaicism. And you can't really pick that up when you're checking five cells out of 120 cells in the trophectoderm. Uh, it's just a, a matter of luck whether you get the normal or the abnormal cells. And actually, the trophectoderm, which becomes placenta, functions perfectly normally with just abnormal cells. The placenta doesn't need normal cells. This the baby does. So uh, it, it's completely inaccurate. All the scientists that study this know that it can't be accurate. But clinicians push this because there's a huge amount of money in it. It's a $15 billion a year industry. Raises the cost of your IVF dramatically. Lowers your success rate. And because so many people are doing it, it's just caught on in the United States, not in Europe. It's caught on in the United States, not in Asia. Uh, but it's caught on in the United States because there's real big money in it. And it sounds so good, but it's not. It's baloney. Now, it used to be I thought it was, I would call this a mistaken idea uh, or a theoretical concept that really wasn't valid. It's actually become a fraud now because everybody knows from the control studies that it doesn't do any good. So uh, I think it's really important to realize what genetic testing really is if you have a carrier of a defect. Very accurate because every cell has that same uh, mutation. But if you're just counting the chromosomes, unfortunately, you can't tell by uh, biopsying the trophectoderm of, uh, of an embryo.